Well, it means uh, <coughs> it means a lot to me to to be able to to play semi-finals of the big tournament again. You know, it's been a, a year, as you said. I think the last semi-finals actually was here, or or no, probably in uh, before Wimbledon uh, in the small tournament. So I mean. You know, this is this is what I was looking forward to. This is what I was hoping, um, you know, to achieve. Obviously, I don't want to stop here. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the ultimate challenge on clay. You know, beating a Rafa is uh, is uh, you know a really uh, difficult thing to do on this surface. But I've done it before, and obviously, I'm a different player today than I was at the time when I was winning against him on clay. But you know, I, I I believe in myself. I I will go out on the court trying to win. I mean, that's that's for sure. I know he's in a in a great form, but look, anything is possible. I've been playing some good tennis, really good tennis this this week, especially the last couple of matches. Today, the quality of tennis was really high. I mean, Kay was uh, was playing fantastic. I mean, especially in the first set, very quick, and it took me a little bit of time to adjust to his pace, uh, which was very very quick, as I said. But um, you know, I'm really happy that I mentally stayed, <coughs> um, stayed, stayed strong. And uh, it, it, in, in the ending of the third set, you know, really fought and and uh, showed some resilience. Um, and this this victory means a lot to me for on a different levels, uh, mostly mentally. <coughs> Novak, congratulations. Uh, maybe it's because I'm a Japanese media, but you seem to raise your level of play every time you play with K. Mm. Is there some secret now you won 12 in a row? No, I mean, look, uh, he, he, he plays very, very fast, and he, um, he doesn't allow much time you know, to his opponent. So I, I think he, in a way, makes you come out very uh, focused and with the right intensity because you have to respond to that, you know what I mean? So, you know, our our games are, are quite similar, you know, from back of the court, we both have a very solid back end down the line, you know, and with forehand, we're opening the court. So it was a really a, a match of and a game of cat and mouse in a way, you know, we, uh, we were going toe to toe uh, and Yes, I mean the 6-3 uh, win in the three, third set went my way, but at the uh, you know at the same time it couldn't go on his way because you know few points really here and there decided the winner. I, uh, I think 4-3 uh, serve uh, my serve in the third set. I saved the break point, uh, f and and I was defending for most of that point, and and I was really lucky to to get through that one because if it's break back. You know who knows in which direction match can go. <coughs> Novak, it's always been it's, al it's almost been a year since you've had a win in a deciding set of a match. How much has that been? Also, yeah. a little bit gnawing away at you over the past few weeks that ju that you just couldn't get it done. In the third yeah. Time. How important is that for you? Today? No, it's great. I mean, it's it's as I said. You know, on many levels, this victory means a lot to me. I think mentally the most. Um, the fact that you brought up that I won the final set. You know, after losing. You know, uh, several final set matches and clay clay court events this year. So this this brings me confidence. It's you know just brings me back to the place where I want to be. You know, as a, as a tennis player, and uh, you know, let's see where it takes me from here. I don't want to touch on any negatives, but obviously tennis scheduling can be very tough. Do yeah. you think the way it's panned out for you today, with Raf having played so much earlier, is a little unfair in the circumstances? <laughs> Why do you mean I was? Why do you think I was late in the press conference? <laughs> um, let's let's leave it here as it is because we could we could spend all night talking about this um, as I have for the past 30 minutes or an hour. But um, there are many things that uh, just don't make sense here. So uh, not just this tournament, but just in general. You know, I, this is already has been several times in my career that I that I'm facing these particular situations and. Uh, Let's just uh, talk about this another time. Hope you understand. Thank you. Well done. Mm. Uh, I'd like to know if uh, outside of the tennis court, in the last year you have been capable to smile sometimes if you were not thinking all the time about 
the health, the tennis, the match uh, that you want to win. Uh, if you are able to smile, and if tonight you will go home and to bed smiling. <laughs> well, um, if you didn't know, I have two kids, so um, they make me smile every time I see them. So I, I don't need anything more than that in my life uh, to bring me smiles. And uh, so I will be going s to bed smiling. I was wondering if there's a sense of relief for you when you see the level you're reaching this week, because I guess in Indian West Miami, maybe you thought it wouldn't happen before months, and mm. it's, already, it's already there. Well, to be quite frank with you, I kind of expected and wanted it to happen right away. I mean, even after surgery, four weeks, five weeks after surgery, I was in Indian Wells. I know I wasn't ready. I mean, people around me also thought I wasn't ready, but I just anyway wanted to play because I just believed that I can get on that level but it then the, then I had the reality check and I had a, a nice nice slap in the face you know in Indian Wells in Miami and just uh, uh, understood where I am with my game and, uh, and understood that it, it's going to be a process and that I have to accept it and then that I have to try to you know, work with what I have, with what I got, because I'm a different player, obviously, and a different person today than I was a few years ago. So um, there were changes with the racket and so forth. We talked about this and it took, took me time and to, to really adjust to everything. So, But it seems like the, the, the things are coming together for me. I mean, um, the four matches here were really good. I mean, I, uh, and, and, and I felt like from Monte Carlo, I was starting to raise, to raise the level, you know, slowly. Obviously, results were that I, I got used to and the people got, got used to when, when, I'm, when I'm playing were not there, not even close. But at the same time, I just had to, <laughs> I had to be patient and believe. So I'm here at the semifinals, which is considering all the circumstances is a fantastic result. And I have to be grateful for that. And uh, well, let's let's see what happens tomorrow. Thank you. Do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it.